Hey y'all, it's Holly. I know we have all heard any number of different real estate market updates, some saying that everything is peachy and others saying the sky is falling. The important thing to remember when digesting all of this is what market statistics are they looking at? Internationally, nationally, statewide, or locally. Real estate markets should be looked at in a local view. In the Richmond Metro, since it is made up of 17 different cities and counties, it is important to take a hyper-local view because what is happening in Petersburg, for example, is very different than what you can expect in Short Pump. So let's flip over and look at some single-family home statistics from April 2023. I've pulled four main areas, Chesterfield, Henrico, Hanover, and the City of Richmond. We will be talking about averages as we go through. And remember, condo and townhome statistics and RVA are different, so keep that in mind. For all my potential sellers out there, good news. The number of new listings compared to last year is down 28%, and the number of mortgage applications is up by 3.7%. So what does that mean? Less competition with other listings and more buyers to consider your house their future home. More good news. On average, houses are closing at 102.4% over asking price. What does this mean? More money in your piggy bank, of course. With me there to assist, we can be sure that you get the maximum price for your home through implementing a platinum level marketing plan. For all my buyers out there, don't get discouraged. There are lots of positives. I know it is easy to lose sight of that when in some areas, every house has multiple offers, but here's the good news. Days on market has increased by 66.7%. What does this mean? We're out of the COVID market where you don't have to dash to see every house the second it hits the market, have a five minute showing, offer 100,000 plus over asking, waive home inspections, waive all other contingencies and offer all sorts of other unique items to a seller. Don't get me wrong, there are certainly markets where it is still competitive, but not the COVID market competitive. Together, we can put together a strategic offer to get you to the top of the stack. I know you are saying, Holly, the interest rates. Okay, yes, they have gone up since the days of two and 3%. However, consider this, the average interest rate since 1971 on a 30 year fixed conventional loan is 7.75% we are still approximately one percentage point lower. But Holly, the housing prices keep going up and up and up, but are they? When prices were up approximately 12% year over year for the last couple of years, and now they are up approximately 4%, when you look at it this way, they're actually down 8%. Regardless of whether you want to buy, sell, or somewhere in between and still trying to decide, Grab a time on my calendar and we can talk further.